First, we import create store from Vuex. This is the function well used to create our central Vuex store. Now, we declare a constant named store and call create store, passing an object that defines our store's configuration. Within the store configuration, we start with the state. This is a function that returns an object representing the application state. Here, we have a counter property initialized to zero. Next, in the mutations section, we define increment, which will change the state. This function takes the current state and increments the counter by one. It's important to note that mutations must be synchronous. The action section defines increment action. Actions are responsible for committing mutations and can contain asynchronous operations. Here, increment action uses commit to call the increment mutation. Then we have getters, which are like computed properties for the store. Here we define double counter that will return our state's counter multiplied by 2. Finally, we close the store definition and export it. This makes our Vuex store available for importing into our Vue application. Moving on. We import create app from Vue and our top level component app from its file. We also import the Vuex store we just defined from the store file. We create a new Vue application instance by calling create app and passing the app component. Before mounting our application, we need to tell it to use the Vuex store, which we do with the use method. Finally, we mount the application to the DOM element with the id app and we're ready to go with a centralized application state thanks to Vuex 4.